Today we will look at how to light a Bunsen burner safely. A Bunsen burner is used to heat in science laboratories. This part of the Bunsen burner is the gas tube. It will connect to a gas jet. The base of the Bunsen burner, the chimney, this is where the flame will come out. And on the chimney there is a collar where we can open the holes so that more oxygen can get in from the air and we can close the holes when we want the flame to be less fierce and open the holes when we want the flame to be hot. To connect the Bunsen burner you attach the tube to the gas jet nice and firmly. You make sure that the Bunsen burner is sitting on the special square on the desk that's going to protect the desk from the heat coming from the Bunsen burner. And to light the Bunsen burner, you start off by making sure that the holes, the air vents are closed. You get a friend to turn on the gas so that the handle points in line with the gas tube. When the Bunsen lights, it will light with a yellow safety flame if the holes are closed. When you open the holes so that more air can enter and more oxygen, you'll see that the color of the flame has changed. There is now a light blue area and a bright blue area. The light blue area is slightly colder than the bright blue area and the hottest part of the flame is at the tip of the bright blue cone. So you can practice turning it to a yellow safety flame and then turning it back to a bright blue cone. When you're going to heat something, you place a tripod over the top with a gauze. Once the gauze is on top of the Bunsen burner, you do not touch it until it has cooled down. You can already see that it is starting to get warm. If you were to have some water in a beaker, you might place that on top to heat up. When you're putting away the Bunsen burner, you would turn it off at the gas tap by making sure that the, the gas handle is now at right angles to the tube and you would let all the equipment cool down before you put it away.